Welcome back to County Connection. For this next segment, we're going to be talking about some wildfire preparedness that our community is taking on in June. And here to tell us all about it are Brian Bovaird, our Director of Emergency Management. Welcome, Brian. Thanks. And we have back Dan Schroeder, defensible space uh, expert. Thank you. Um, all right, so um, Brian, we have a full scale wildfire exercise taking place on June 21st. Tell us what's gonna happen. Sure, uh, so the wildfire exercise to kind of do a, a sports analogy, I guess, uh, is a way for us to do a scrimmage with all of our public safety partners. So we, you know, we come up with the plans and then we train on them, but before the actual big game or an incident happening, we wanna do a scrimmage so we can see how all the moving parts work. Uh, we can see what we're doing well and what we're not doing well. So we have uh, all of our public safety agencies participating and we're gonna simulate a wildfire response and we're going to some of the big things that we're going to be testing are evacuation and the process of how we do that uh, the activation of our emergency operations center and the joint information center which you're very familiar with I am and uh, also public messaging and uh, SC alert all right fantastic so um, tell us a little bit about the scenario that uh, you and the rest of the team has concocted Sure. Uh, so the fun thing is that when you design an exercise, you can kind of uh, make it as bad as you want and nobody really gets hurt. Right. <laughs> so, so the premise of this is that there's going to be a wildfire that starts in the Mesa Cortina area in Silverthorne. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to kind of progress from there uh, and grow larger and larger uh, to have more consequences. Another big big thing that we're testing, we're, we're working in partnership with the hospital uh, to test an evacuation of the hospital. So the fire will have get big enough to have smoke affect the hospital and, and then be threatened by the wildfire and do an evacuation. Um, so that, that's kind of the general premise. Uh, okay, great. Um, and then kind of to um, go back to your sports analogy, we're really looking at a scenario that's far bigger than any of our agencies typically see on a day-to-day -day basis and it gives us the opportunity to test our systems um, for when something really big might happen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, kind of the, the motto of our business is we plan for the worst and hope for the best. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so what should the public um, know about uh, in the exercise, what can they kind of expect to see and be sure to keep in mind that it is an exercise. Sure, uh, and we'll definitely be, um, you know, putting it out on um, print media and all of our social media channels about uh, the nature of the exercise, when it's gonna be. So the idea being that everyone in the county should be aware of what's going on and, and there shouldn't be any surprises. Um, but with um, with that, I think the, the thing that the community can do the most is um, there's ways to get engaged. Uh, the biggest one is probably SC Alert. Uh, for anybody that's not signed up for SC Alert, um, go ahead to uh, our webpage and, and sign up for that. Um, and you'll probably receive a couple test messages during that exercise as we, we practice that function. Um, the other thing, and a little bit Dan will talk about, I think, um, our community event that evening. Um, but that's a great way to kind of get dialed into uh, all of the, the wild land preparedness and uh, safety that we have going on. All right, fantastic. So great segue. Uh, so Dan, this uh, is not just for our first responder agencies. There's a, um, a lot for the public to do as well. And you're leading the charge on that. So tell us what's going on after the exercise. We're calling it the Wildfire Prevention Solstice Party. I know. So we're going to have a party to really celebrate summer, to celebrate this community that we all call home or we visit and enjoy so very much. And we're putting it on the tails of this wildfire prevention, this wildfire exercise, so that the theme remains throughout. We want to make sure that people know what they need to do in order to be ready for a wildfire. And that in very clear sense is defensible space, things that you can do well in advance of a wildfire. 
Some of the set aspects are creating a family communication plan, evacuation kit, and then our goal is ultimately when uh, first responders ask people to evacuate, we're gonna talk about that a little bit too. So really, this wildfire solstice, wildfire prevention solstice party is a community fair with a little bit of education up underneath. And um, some of the drivers are that we have family fun, uh, bounce castles, face painters. We're gonna have a fire truck demo. So there's gonna be a lot of different kind of vehicles at this event. Uh, the one item that isn't free, the entire thing is free, but we have a few food trucks on site. So if you wanted to have dinner, that would be a cost to you. But otherwise, this is just a fun event on the tail of the wildfire exercise. Right, and often our weather is so beautiful in June. And so we're gonna have, like you said, bounce castles, some cornhole, um, snacks for people. And, uh, and I've heard that the U.S. Forest Service is gonna be there with a special guest. There may be a special guest as, as well, and we can just think about who that might be. Yeah, um, it might be Smokey. It might be Smokey Bear. <laughs> I didn't mention, I, I need to make sure that everyone knows that it's at five o'clock on the solstice. That is the day that the exercise is occurring. The longest day of the year is Thursday, June 21st, and from five to 7 p.m. is when we'll be hosting this party at the Silverthorn Pavilion. All right, fantastic. Um, anything else um, that either of you would like to add about the exercise or the solstice party? I think you hit it all. All right, I guess we hit it all. It's going to be a really great day for the entire community to be involved in our response mechanisms and the party to follow. All right, thanks so much to both of you for all your hard work in um, t for this important day for wildfire prevention. I'll see you there and hopefully we will see you there. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about some happenings at the Summit County Clerk and Recorder's Office. <laughs> Thank you.